definitely leaned so. on on the buttons. <laughs> Shelly's gone hysterical. Matt Matt had a nap and he's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't hit all of them. Um. So guys, the uh, interview is finished, but uh, before we leave, check out the view they have in this place. It is just inspirational. Alright guys, so we're in an Uber. We're on our way to uh, Admiralty, and we're going to be interviewing right Joshua Wong. <laughs> and, ready? Go! Would you mind joining me in a round of Do You Hear the People Sing? Who is Joshua Wong? Well, he's just about one of the youngest revolutionaries in our generation. That's a picture of him on the cover of Time Magazine. In 2014, he started a pro-democracy movement that closed off a 10-lane highway in the middle of the city. It was one of the craziest things I'd ever seen. That same year, Time Magazine voted him as one of the most influential young people in the world. Do you hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men? This is the music of the people who will not be slaves again when the beating... Do you think he's far enough away not to hear me? Oh my gosh, I interviewed Joshua Wong! And action! So we wrapped up shooting the Joshua Wong episode. Chris just ran about a mile without going anywhere. That was, that was, that was I am cool. I don't know. I thought you were leading the way. Chris, Chris, were we not supposed to have hot pot? Something happened. Something horrible what? happened. I don't know How what can happened. I trust you anymore? Again, we're not having hot pot. Let's go eat. Can I not trust anyone anymore? So, yeah, we're right next to the Peninsula Hotel, and really, really rich people live up, uh, I guess, are in there, and they get helicopter rides to wherever they want to go. Oh my God. I put too much chili oil in my kanji. I feel like I'm dying. We also had beef tripe and stomach, saliva inducing chicken, no joke, that's what it's called, some bok choy. They got some soup. Good meal. Yeah, I'm, good. I'm doing box breathing right now. Okay. I'm gonna get one of these to cool my mouth down. That looks amazing. Check that out, guys. Got that mango juice and mango sago. So anyway, I gotta head back to the apartment and do some editing because our plans changed again. Um, we'll be shooting tonight before we have hot pot. So there's another obstacle in front of me getting hot pot again. I feel like it's not meant to be. Oh my god, this is so good. So I'm a little particular when I eat this stuff. I like to keep the mango and the sago separated so I can have a little bit of sago and then go up. I have a little bit of mango. I guess some people like that mix it, but I'm weird like that. There's sunlight coming in. It is really hazy out. Let's see how Hong Kong looks like. Wow. You made that. Just yeah. You didn't see her make? I just heard you go in the kitchen and put something in the microwave. Was that... How long of a nap did you take? I have no idea. <laughs> it's mercury. Be careful. Oh. Is it really durian cake? It is. I got it from the uh, bakery. Can I try a piece? Yeah. Okay. Is it really silver? Alright, guys. I'm having durian cake. I'm not a big fan of durian, but... It tastes like a normal, really good cream cake with a slight hint of durian at the beginning. Let's see. It's good. All right, guys, we're about to get on the Star Ferry. Hopefully, we'll catch the laser light show at eight o'clock. So, what's cool about the Star Ferry is it's it's over like a hundred years old and it's subsidized by the government. So, it only costs two fifty Hong Kong dollars, which is equivalent to like I don't know, 25, 30 cents. Anyway, it's one of the most beautiful, I think, ferry rides you can actually go on. My apartment has a view of the New York City skyline and it's pretty, but the Hong Kong skyline, wow.
Hong Kong Harbor has a very uh, important place in my heart. It's actually one of the first places me and Maya traveled to together almost like five years ago. I was a lot younger and the world seemed a lot bigger back then. And I just remember having so much fun here with her. It makes me kind of miss her. Uh, you know, I've been away from home for so long now uh, without seeing her. But yeah, maybe if you're watching this, I miss you very much. Hopefully we'll come to Hong Kong together sometime soon. Yeah. Hey Chris, what time is it right now? Tool time? No, 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 like what, what time is it right now? Hot pot time? Is it hot pot time? It's Christmas time! Oh my god, I feel like Chris. Put oh. <laughs> Head out, guys. So Hong Kong's airport, international airport, used to be in the middle of the city. Oh man, that would have been really cool. Oh look, there's Ben's people. This always happens in Asia. We're trying to get somewhere, and we end up in the middle of a mall. Yeah, it's because the stupid streets in Hong Kong don't allow pedestrians to cross at reasonable intersections. <laughs> it is true, like, it is relatively, um, they, they keep us safe by not allowing us to walk in the middle of the road. Yes, that's exactly what they want us to think. Okay. But let me tell you the okay. real reason. It's What's because that? they want people to come here and consume products and buy more things to support the establishment. Oh my and that's god. That's why they force this us This is not a soapbox for you to espouse your crazy radical views. Well, so it's one of but actually, that's got me thinking. That is a pretty brilliant idea. That Because there's a lot of places in Hong Kong, like, you literally have to walk into malls to get to places. Hmm. Free trade capital of the world, right? Dude, Hong Kong is ridiculous. Like, New York is for stupid people because New York is laid out in a grid and everything is numbered. Hong Kong, again, needs a topographic map because it's not very normal. It's not easy to get to places. You have to go up and down through malls into 7 Elevens. This is ridiculous. Hong Kong is so beautiful, so beautiful. You know, sometimes you have natural beauties that kind of inspire us and like show us how powerful, amazing Mother Nature is. But then you go to a city like Hong Kong and you see how amazing uh, our human society can be, what we can achieve uh, if we put all our brains together. And it's so amazing. It's like Kung Fu and fight. <laughs> the, the lady just looked at a clock and told us we have like 25 minutes to eat. This is not a good sign. But let's let's see. This looks really good. Shelly, use your second grade level Chinese to figure this out. Oh. Oh. Or like like a child who's just discovering how to walk and see. Put your tongue in things. Taste things. I think we're ready. Pretty much ready. I'm gonna be shooting from the hip. It's gonna be like and then. And then, whew, wontons are here. Are you eating? Very good. Very good, very good. Fish balls are in. There's a quiet peace right now as we, we're starting to fill ourselves with food. I still don't believe we're having hot pot. We're having hot pot, Chris. It's, it's happening. Happen. Okay. You'll see later. We got too much meat. We got too much meat. I don't, I don't agree with that. <laughs> we're not going to be able to get home in time. <laughs> I'm I'm severely worried. We're we're all gonna pass out in the street. Yeah, guys, I, I feel like hot pot's like binge drinking. It's just it's terrible. But you you <laughs> keep doing it after saying, Oh I'm never gonna do it again, but no, you, you always you end up doing out. it. You Maybe. black out and you say the next morning, I'm never gonna binge drink again. We That's what hot pot problem. is. We all we need to accept that we have a problem. That's the first are, are we going to a hospital or are we going back to the uh, apartment right now? I am not That's responsible right. if my stomach explodes in this taxi cab. Alan, future Alan, do not ever have hot pot ever again. Future Alan, you know you've let President Alan down. Oh, 
probably watching this right after having eaten too much hot dog. <laughs> future Alan punch Chris in the face right now. Wait, which? Present wait, wait. Chris or future Chris? <laughs> I don't know. Alright guys, I'm ending the vlog here because you don't want to see what happens next. I'll see you next. <laughs>